Hello my friends and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Teal Mask video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Basculin and how to evolve it because it's a little bit tricky and how to evolve it. So if you guys do appreciate this video and enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more and all that good stuff. And let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Now, where are you going to find Basculin? Well, if you go ahead and look at its habitat, you can see it's in one very specific location. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up the map and I'm going to show you guys exactly where I am. So you can see exactly where it is. So if you go to the very top right corner of the map, right up here. And you go to the left side of the timeless woods there's a pond right here and right here is where you're going to find a basculin there's one right there there's one over there there's one over there there's one like there's a bunch right here okay tons and tons of basculin so go ahead catch your basculin and uh and then after that we can move on and do the next step now unfortunately what the next thing is going to involve is taking a bunch of damage i think it's like 294 if i remember correctly um now you can go fight other pokemon if you want to uh, this one's electric, so you know what? Let's not fight that one. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. The smart idea would probably be to actually go into another region and fight, uh, like in the Paldea region, and go fight lower level stuff. Because this one's yeah, like level 71. We don't want to do that. Um, because here's the thing. You have to take 294 plus damage without your Basculin fainting. You can heal it and different things like that. And it could be, you know, I guess within different, uh, battles. Um... But it cannot faint because if it faints, it resets everything. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go all the way to the starting area, I think, of um, of the Paldea region. And we're going to we're going to do it over there. All right. So we have a bunch of uh, low level Pokemon over here. Now, uh, there's three different moves that your Basculin learns at different levels. So obviously, you probably are going to already gonna know all three moves or at least uh, at least one of them. One of them is uh, that I have on here is Double Edge. Double Edge is one that's going to take recoil. Uh, you can always go to into your uh, summary for your Pokemon and click uh, uh, remember moves and uh, that will teach you um, some moves that you forgot so for example if you want to do that I'd go to Basculin over here I would go check summary and uh, I would go over here to the move set I'd click a on change moves I'd click remember moves and then I'd look for whatever takedown is another one that's going to take recoil uh, a little bit of damage uh and then there's also wave crash which i think should be in here no i don't see wave crash but wave, wave crash is another one double edge those are all ones you can use now obviously if i'm play, playing against really 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 low level pokemon like this i'm actually not taking as much damage uh as you can see so you probably don't want to go with super low level pokemon like these are lo literally level five right so oh i already have wave crash sorry i'm an idiot um anyway so for example if i go against a, a whooper here and, and, and I do that, I'm, I'm probably not going to take much damage, right? Again, let's see how much uh, Basculin was damaged with the recoil. But, but again, I'm barely damaged from it. So go to a place where, you know, maybe it's about, let's say, I don't know, 20 levels under Basculin. So maybe some level 50s, which you'll probably find kind of more in the northern region, most likely, of the Paldea region. All right, so for example, we're fighting against level 53 Swablu, about 19 levels under where we are. Um, we are currently 143 and 195 and again remember you can you can heal uh, That's not an issue. So if I do some damage to this kind of Pokemon right here uh, Let's see. I was at 143. I'm at like what 102 now I took about 40 damage so you can kind of see how much damage uh, you're gonna take roughly um, Yeah, see yeah about about you know 40 or so against these kind of Pokemon here and again You can heal in between right? There's no 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 issue with that you can go ahead and heal all you gotta do is take, uh, I think, again, it's close to 300 total damage without fainting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done, and I'll show you guys what that looks like once we get that uh, done and over with. All right, so the problem is, is once you've done enough damage, it's not really a problem if you're keeping tabs, but if you're not keeping tabs, the problem is, is that you're gonna have to level up your Basculin while, uh, while you're doing, well, not while you're doing this, but at some point, right? Once you've done enough damage. So if you are keeping tabs and you know, okay, I've done X amount of damage. I know for sure I've done, you know, about 294 plus damage. Then you go ahead and level up your Basculin. If you try to level up your Basculin either by battles or, you know, giving it candy and it does not evolve, it means you did not do enough damage, uh, or it, uh, apparently you know maybe you you it, it fainted um if it didn't faint then you just didn't do enough damage so keep doing damage uh until you get enough and then eventually when you level up your basculin after it's done enough damage then what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and it's going to evolve so go ahead do that and you're going to get your uh basculin it turns into i don't even know how to say that bas basculegion i guess uh which is a very hefty 
fish type Pokemon, which will be added to your decks as number 195. So that'll enter both 194 and 195 in your Pokedex and bring you a little bit closer uh, to, to completing your Kitakami um, Pokedex. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys soon in another one. Tell them, friends, game on, and thanks for watching.